Whoa, yo, look at this. My trade request has been completed. You are now a member of the Denver Nuggets. And funny, funny thing is, our first game will be against my own team. <laughs> oh my god, look at this mess. <laughs> look at the mess I made. I'm playing my, I'm playing my old team right away. That could have not been any better. All right, I'm pretty excited. My first game as a Nugget is against my old team. <laughs> I could not be any more excited for this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious, man. I find it really hilarious. Am I? Wait, my assistant coach went with me too? <laughs> I'm starting. Oh man, this is deep. This team is stacked. <laughs> Alright, who's Colin Malone? I wonder who traded for me. This is a stacked team, man. And I'm using. Uh, one of my I'm using uh, Kobe's number in honor of him because 33 I think is retired or somebody's using it so 24 is my number for this one so let's take a look at the bro this is like an upgrade of all the positions <laughs> fuck you Devontae Graham you're the reason why I left <laughs> who's this Colin Malone guy oh my gosh I look good in this jersey actually Man, I can trust my teammates big time to make some big plays. Not worrying about dumbasses like uh, Devontae Graham. I feel bad for Steph Seth Curry though. I like him. So apparently they lost the game against the Blazers. That's all good. Mile high, baby. Passes it to Murray. Denver passing it around. And Junior throws it down. You know, Millsap has no issues giving the ball up to the open man. Excellent awareness there. This is some justice right here. <laughs> Trying to beat this, uh, this team's ass, bro. This is justice. <laughs> Let's go, Jokic. Give me the damn ball. Oh, my goodness. Shot missing. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. To the inside, Washington. Denver grabs the miss. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Well, in that one, you could pretty much see the right... Don't worry, we'll beat the Clippers the next time. The performance was lackluster at best. Yeah, they looked distracted, far off, distant. I mean, it seemed like their heart wasn't in it to try to win that game. And so here's Charlotte. Denver getting their last shot to go. Curry is inside. Millsap on him. But this team is like fucking disorganized without me. Now here's Rogier. He's covered by Murph. And the basket by Rogier. Yeah, this team don't Rozier know what they're doing, man. But he knows he has what it takes to get it done from there. In Clark, he's proving to be one of the more explosive players in the league. Scary there you go. Terry. The build my average might went might go down who knows great muscle definition really quick in all aspects um, you notice no oh my goodness really man come on Jamal Murray he's quiet and those guys I wonder who traded for me man because you know they're tough when they don't say much and this style of play is pretty much fear striking as well here's Murray after the basket by Charlotte If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's Jokic. Good work defensively by Malone. This team is in, in the fourth Charlotte, seed right now out west. Here, making That's all right. So far to start out the game. Murray against Bridges. Now Washington is coming off a 16-point game against Portland. He nails it, and we're tied up. Boy, lock into that focus from Washington there. Love the body control, too. Excellent. The pass to Millsap. Down low. Here's Junior. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assist. Junior's got his second bucket of the night. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Curry gets to Rozier. Back to Curry. Pass to Bridges from outside the arc. Nailed from three-point land. 
All right. Well, you can see the work being put in on that particular shot for Bridges, and his confidence as a result is continuing to grow. Now here is Harris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Back to Murray. Jokic against Malone. From downtown, Jokic no good. For the Hornets, they come into this one following a loss to the Trailblazers. Ogier, the pass to Bridges. Now, here's Curry, guarded by Harris. Pass to Rogier, doubled by Murray, from deep. And it's the Hornets, another three. Wow, okay. It just seems that every pass they made... They really got rid of me with that Malone guy, huh? I think so. Passes to Jokic, inside. And Junior gets it to go on the assist by Jokic. Man, I look Junior good at this college, though. Points. The Hornets have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Ogier, the pass to Bridges. Rozier against Murray. Rozier kicks to Kirk. And a miss there on the triple. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Murray dishes to Junior. And Junior throws it down. With maturity comes greater patience, understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Now, here's Rogier. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. Yeah, you got to score now, bro. To stop him. They sent him to the line over and over, and the free throws were a big part of the game. Curry with the bounce pants. Bangs home the trifecta. Bridges has got his second bucket of the game to go. Their third three-pointer in a row. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. Jokic passes to Junior. He can't get it to Wow. And Charlotte will go the Are you serious? No foul on that thing? Denver, their first meeting of the season. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. And, you know, there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents. A lot different than when you've played a team you're familiar with. And here are the Nuggets now, following the three by Charlotte. Break the two words you and I don't like the most in this game, load management. Why do we see more of it now than when you played in the game? A couple of things. Uh, I think sports science has evolved, and I've talked to a ton of coaches about this. The reality is that now they don't determine whether or not a guy's going to play. It's going to be the, the people that work with the strength and conditioning. They determine if a guy is ready to go. Secondly, I would also say the contracts now, the investments that teams have in these assets, you want to try to prolong their careers as long as possible. And so I think it's a smart move from an investment standpoint. You bring up some great points. The Nuggets trail by six. Here's Mark. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Clippers. Pop it, baby. Murray. There you go. And Murray is really deadly with the catch. I, I, pretty much, I pretty much don't want to have to work hard, man. He has no problem going right up with it. Now here's Zeller. Let's it go from 11. The kick out to Rogier. Leads away, and it's Jokic with the rebound. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. It's a three-point game. Here's Barton, and he banks in the lane. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And so here's Charlotte moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. Block that shit. Find a way to and rebound that, baby. And it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. I would imagine they traded me for Michael Porter Jr. too. I don't see him yet, though. his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Now, here's Rogier. He's got seven. Kicks it to Green. And there's the pass to Monk. And again, the Hornets missing. 
and burn the lead. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. And that one's good, Barton. It's obvious that Barton's jump shot has come a long way. Right now, he's pretty solid at catching and shooting. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Rozier finds Biombo to stop the run. And he lays it up and in. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Barton outside, pass to Junior. The Nuggets moving the ball around. For three, Millsap sinks the three. Another three, baby. Millsap's got seven points in the game. And you know, Millsap is a decent threat from outside the arc. A credit to his hard work. You got to at least get a hand in his face from out there now. Ogier, the pass to Monk. He kicks to Graham. Pass to Rozier. There you go. Now you don't have options, boys. <laughs> you guys have no scoring options, bitch. <laughs> Damn. You don't know who to pass to, huh? To the middle, here's Zeller, and he makes that one. Well, Zeller's just a really skilled offensive center. I mean, this guy has a nice touch and really good awareness and finishing ability around the hoop. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. And team strategies mostly guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak. Charlotte making the switch. Cooning Gomez is checked in. And I was now open like Martin. earlier though. They look to him for part of their offense. Ha! <laughs> fuck you, right Devontae Graham, you bitch. Points a game. You can't guard Junior me, dog. Shredding those nets. This dude is on a tear. Hornets trail by six. Rozier with the ball. Seven points in the game. With some arc, and it's good on the layup. Nine points in the game so far. Shots are See, you should be using this guy right the whole time when I was there. Really now the pass to Craig. To the paint. Here's Junior. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Graham surveying the floor. And Zeller kicks to Green. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. To the middle and stolen by Zell. So pass that way faster, man. Now, here's Rogier. Defense is right there. No good with the way. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. This is as good as it gets for first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Here's Monk following the basket by Junior. To the left wing. See, that's how you defend, you motherfuckers. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Ernie Gomez kicks to Monk. I <laughs> can't even shoot that fucking close. Dumbass. Here's Junior. Hornets with the rebound. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Shock up two there. Rozier's got 11. Well, he's really feeling it right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. So it's Denver now. Following the bucket by the Hornets, Martin dishes to Junior. Can't get it to fall. Now Graham, he's coming off a 13-point game against the Trailblazers in Portland. And then there was his passing. When he wasn't scoring on his own, he was making... Look at this guy. He thinks he's Steph Curry, bro. <laughs> what the hell? To defend it. And so, guys, it's Junior making things happen for the Denver Nuggets. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. We come back right after this. 
Big sounds like something a coach would say. Man, haven't got a rest yet. That's pretty, uh, his coach has said. put a lot of faith in me, huh, coach? But Murray's really matured into a reliable, sometimes spectacular performer for this team. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Denver. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this. Oh, game. come on, man. Junior's out there with Grant. Then it's Plumley, and it's Craig, and it's shooting guard. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Clippers, delivered quite a performance. He scored an incredible number of points, and his hustle on the defensive end was amazing. He had a number of steals. He put up great numbers in a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss. And he'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Yeah, David in stretches, he was absolutely down. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. Well, this team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure. And you better have the lead, man. Okay, good. Wow, I didn't rest that well, much either. By eight. Damn, superstar status. Here's Jokic. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Jokic has got his second bucket tonight. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Malone outside. Back to Graham. 13 feet away. And he gets it to go. Graham's got eight. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. At the elbow, Jokic. And there's another one for the Nuggets. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. they got to tighten it up. Bridges misses. See, these guys can't rebound, bro. With the ball for the Denver Nuggets. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. That one falls. Junior's got 19 points. That's their third straight make off an assist. Charlotte's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only getting one of five attempts. Harris against Curry. Malone outside. Pass to Bridges for the three. Rebound by Murray. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Boy, nice work by Harris that time. He's trying to find the best shot for his team, not necessarily for himself there. And stolen by Junior. Basket counts. There you go. Junior's got seven points here in this quarter. Let's They're go, man. On a roll inside. The last three field goals have come from the paint. Graham, the pass to Malone. Here's the dish to Curry. He kicks it to Graham. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, the Hornets missing. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And Junior gets it to go on the assist by Harris. He's got 25. Nice pass here to set that basket up. And after establishing himself as a key player in Denver, Gary Harris has played, trailing off the last couple seasons. Uh, Greg, what's your read there? I, I really feel like, Kevin, injuries have played a part. Uh, an extended cold streak, but the Nuggets didn't lose faith. He, he helped build their... Damn, the reverse? That's the big like connection right there. Nikola Jokic to me, well. bro. Always in Let's pursuit go. of the basketball. If you throw it up, Junior's looking to throw it down. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. So Charlotte calls 10 out. They're first. And the lack of rim protection. Charlotte. Cody Zellers checked in from Malone. Malik Monk comes in for Seth Kirk. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Devontae Green. Back to Rozier. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Key defense, bro. And the Hornets with possession here. They trail by 18. 
Clock at six. Here's Monk. Pass to Bridges. The three. Knocks down the three ball. Bridges has got five points now this quarter. No hesitation from Bridges there. He knows exactly when he should look to shoot it off the catch. Harris outside. Launches a three. That's in. Coming off the Damn. assist from Jokic. Two man game, baby. Jokic has got three assists now in this one. Hornets trail by 18. And stolen by Junior. Here's Murray. Biombo with the block. Excellent timing by Biombo and an impressive vertical, too. He's a good shot blocker because of that. Harris passes to Jokic. He kicks it to Murray. There you go. Oh my gosh, that almost missed. <laughs> now he's three for five from the field. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Rozier against Murray. Rozier the pass to Bridges. Back to Rozier. Six to shoot. Bunk for three. And it's Denver with the rebound. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot. And the team is struggling because of it. Not a lot of resistance on the inside. And they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. And stolen by... Oh, my gosh, bro. That one drops for him. Junior's got 31. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Now, here's Rogier. 11 points in the game. Looking to end the run. Denver grabs the miss. Can't even rebound, bro. Jokic just got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He nice defense. I wish you guys were doing that when, when I was there. He's still scoreless. Passes it to Rogier. One fifty-one left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Defense having really no effect on Bridges. He just keeps producing with no sign of slowing down. Murray kicks to Jokic. Down low, Junior, and Junior throws it down. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. 127 left in the first half. There's the pass to Monk. Jokic with the steal. Oh my goodness. Here's the throw. Oh, he's Steph Curry, bro. <laughs> he just popped it. And boy, has he come alive. Since the start of the second quarter, he has been on fire. Charlotte calls timeout. Well, we know, Greg, that Jokic is such a unique talent at that center position. Young player already top 10 in career triple-double. Mason Plumley's checked in for Denver. Will Barton comes in for Gary Harris. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Hernan Gomez is checked in. Zeller passes to Rozier. Five on the clock. Now, here's Monk. He's covered by Murray. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. There you go. And it's in there. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Rozier against Barton. Rozier looking around. He feeds it to Monk. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Bridges, no one around him. Kept alive, and Zeller kicks to Bridges. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Charlotte moving the ball around. Pass to Rozier. And he's good on the three ball. Rozier's got 14 points for the game. All Rozier needs is a little breathing room, and he's firing that thing, and usually knocking it down. A dominating wow. first half of basketball. You guys and surely so missed my offensive uh, Nuggets ahead. juice. <laughs> Opening up a huge gap. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. 
Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the round. Bro, this team is pretty good in defense. I must, I must, I must say. He's been everywhere. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware. He's alive. He's alert. Quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. They've got P.J. Washington. Seth Curry is out there with Rozier. Then there's Miles Bridges. And it's Malone in at the five. Murray, the pass to Junior. And Junior throws it down. Nice to see Junior not settle for the layup that time. He went right up and threw it down. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Hornets. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. And start a three-game homestand with that game. Millsaps against Bridges. Rozier kicks to Curry. Fires the three. And it's the Hornets, another three. This is why you pay Seth Curry the big contract, the big money. His range is unlimited. Murray dishes to Millsap. Here's Jokic. Some solid defense by Malone. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Denver leading by 21. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Here's Harris. A three ball. Pop it, baby. There you go. Bring it back. From Jokic. Jokic has got six assists here tonight. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. For Denver, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Junior picks to Millsap. Another three for Denver. There you go. An eye for an eye, baby. Going the plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. For Charlotte, they've gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Here's Rozier. That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Yeah, they're still down. Murray against Bridges. Here is outside. Get the shot. And it's Malone with the rebound. Malone's got four rebounds now tonight. Curry against Harris. Curry passes to Malone. And the shot goes in. Malone's got his second bucket of the night. And you couldn't have scripted a better start to the half. They've hit every single shot since the break. And the pass to Jokic. The feed to Junior. Doubled by Bridges. Murray against Rougie. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Inside, here's Bridges. Millsap grabs the miss. The Nuggets leading by 21. And Junior with the basket on the assist by Paul Millsap. Millsap's got assist number five here tonight. For Charlotte, they've gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this court. What a fantastic start to the hand. Oh, shit. This guy's open. Pass to Bridges. What the hell? Here's for three. And again, Charlotte with the triple. A precision passer, Curry, also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. The importance of the... No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have... And again! Well, he's gone up to 40 as he continues to just dominate. 
You're right. Oh, man. We knew he had a shot I can still do it, though. He is now tied for third for the most 40-point games in a season. And you can put him in the same breath as Michael Jordan. They both can say they had 37 games of 40 or more. Boy, nice job that time by P.J. Washington to knock down the shot after setting the screen. Back to Murray. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Oh, oh, oh post this dude. Who the hell are you, dogs? to see them double him up here. Damn. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the hustle step. Where's the replay on that thing? I thought we might see the defense adjust at halftime to slow the break, but... That has not been the case. Oh my goodness, man. Why am I missing free throws? Are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. See, Devontae Graham sucks. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't do that. And Junior throws it down. Leaving folks open around Barton is a no no. He'll torch you whenever you do that. It's Curry with the drive. Kicks to Graham. Back to Curry. Pass to Washington. Not a piece of it. Great awareness on the defensive end. Junior relishes any chance he gets to rise up and block it. Yep, that one goes. Junior's got 47 points. Strong. Man, this team is pretty good. Not, not my old team. They all suck. Here's Rozier. Oh, yeah, Manu, we got big bubble over here, man. Use this guy more often. Taking matters into his own head. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone. Oh, my gosh, that's a tough shot right there. 72% contested, baby. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And some changes here for the Hornets. Biombo has checked in for Malone. Cody Zeller comes in for Washington. And it's Malik Monk in for Terry Rozier. Bring him against Barton. Right side Curry. And Curry throws it down. How about Seth Curry going up top to throw it down? Go ahead, young fella. Here's Murray. Feeds it to Bowl. Good there you go. assist goes to Murray. Murray's got nine assists now tonight. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Here's Zeller, and the dunk by Zeller. Love the unselfishness of Monk there. I mean, love seeing him find the open man. And so it's Barton bringing it up for Denver. This is it to bowl. He kicks to Grant. There's the triple. And again, Denver with the triple. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Charlotte's gotten all four of the three-point shots to go down since halftime. They're lighting it up here. Knocked away. And stolen by Junior. And here they go. And it's Bull. There you go, baby. The assist by Barton. Barton's got his fifth assist in this one. Hornets shooting straight, 49% from the field. Graham, the pass to Monk. Here's Biombo. Nice, good foul. On the good foul. It sends him to the line. You know, discussing Biombo, it's hard not to think back to Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals against the Cleveland Cavaliers, is it? I mean, how about 39 minutes? Only 7 points scored, but how about 26 rebounds? to lead his team to victory. He actually had a terrific series all the way around and then parlayed that into a $72 million contract the following year. Now, here's Monk. He's covered closely. Graham with the bucket. That oh, is Pierce. his shot, guys. So you can't just give it to him. You've got to get up on him and get into his airspace there. The pass to Plumley to the inside. And another one falls. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. So it's the Hornets now. To the wing right side. He can pop it if he wants to. Trying to break that ice cold streak. He takes it up and lays it in. We know he can shoot deep. 
but he also has a nice touch inside. So Monk has a lot of confidence wherever he's shooting the ball from. Here's Craig to the middle. Junior hits it again. Wow. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. And stolen by Junior. Oh, and you fouled me, bro. It down. Damn, a the sequence. Play that time by Junior on that play. Commits to a shot and then wins the and one. The Nuggets have shot just above 55% of the line going five of nine. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. Vonley's checked in for the Nuggets. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Biombo. And stolen by Junior. Barton surveying the floor. Ah, wasted. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got six rebounds in the game. Inside. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And I tell you what, they're doing their best to cut down the lead with some smart offense here in the second half. Shot selection much improved since the break. Craig, in New York, you obviously played in a number of championship contending teams. What do the Knicks have to do to get back to that feel, that kind of team? Well, listen, it starts with stability across the board, but mainly that means at the top. And you got to give this new front office, this new regime, an opportunity. I think they got some good young pieces. Uh, but title contenders are not in a constant state of flux right now. They've got to take their baby steps here and start moving in the right direction. Like you say, it does begin in the front office. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to That's one of my the first fouls. And the foul called on Junior. That is his first foul of the game. Graham with the ball. He's got 11. Pass to Monk. Back to Graham. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Just four to shoot. Monk dishes to Graham. A three-pointer off the mark. Denver's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Martin passes to Junior, lays it up off the glass. Junior's got 59 points. Hey, when Junior gets inside like that, he knows that's money. Batum scanning the floor. It's good. Batum's got his first points in this one. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Barton kicks to Plumley. Denver passing it around. There you go. Plumley's shot is good. And Coach can thank Junior's vision for this one. Watches how the floor is moving and spots the open man. Graham, the pass to Hernan Gomez. And it's sent back by Plumley. And that's oh, he stepped out of bounds. That sucks. Possession. I'd never get any rest Paul in this one. Checked in for the Nuggets. Still the third and quarter. Here also for Charlotte. Bridges checks in. 112 left here in the third quarter. Passes it to Graham. Five to shoot. Here's Monk. Charlotte again missing. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Plumley in the post. Hernan Gomez covering. Plumley dishes to Barton. And he uses there the ball on the way. Barton's got eight. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And it's slammed in by Bridges. That athletic ability gets Bridges to the rim there. He almost uh, totally shrugged off the defense. The pass to Craig. Back to Barton. There's 25 seconds left in the third. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. 
clearly a foul. Yeah, he's a Mason Plumley. Damn, all right. Oh, damn. <laughs> Forty-two point lead, huh? He's been dynamite off the bench. Now Charlotte is, is on the yeah, end, is on the other end game, of the spectrum. Greg, defense and rebounding <laughs> and finishing, all high level. But the one thing that's underrated, but I appreciate a lot, is his passing game. He's come a long way. He does a lot to help you in a reserve role. They've got Bonley. Grant is out there with Junior. And it's Dozier in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Junior kicks to Dozier. Look at Dozier. Let's go, Dozier. Give me an assist. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Oh, shit. I missed that. And uh, the Hornets shooting here about 46% for the game. I pose Zeller. Working on Grant. Shot by Zeller. No good. Denver's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Now the feed to Junior. And good! There's another. Make that 61 point. Yep. Everything is going his way right now. They hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Back to Malone. Now here's Zeller. He's guarded closely. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. There's Zeller finding some work outside the paint on offense. Boy, and I, I really like the mechanics of that jump shot. No wasted motion. Craig passes to Grant. They get a hand on it. Malone with the steal. And here is Graham. And another steal for him. He's making history tied for third most steals in a single game. Incredible tenacity. He continues to double double, the baby. Ball. Ten steals. You know, I tell you, you look at Junior, and it's all about doing what's best for the team with him. They throw good, Junior. And the Nuggets making a change here. Bates Diops checked in, and so he hits both. Al Malone. Pass to Zeller. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Junior. Well, that's a case where the defense was working hard to shut Zeller down, but he just kind of powered through to draw the foul. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Dozier passes to Junior. I don't know why he dribbled that for like five fucking seconds. The shot's good. Junior's got six in the quarter. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. You know, didn't need two hands for that slam. One will do just fine. Oh, you're right. He can save the other hand for the next shot. <laughs> yeah, I like the variety, though. Nice to switch it up. Here's Dozier. He's covered by Zeller. Junior. And that one drops for him. Junior certainly faced some traffic inside there, but he stayed focused and tough and got it to go down. He swipes the ball away again. He's been a defensive terror all night long. I I've never seen anything like it. And he's actually tied the record for the most steals in a game. And now he sits alongside Kendall Gill and Larry Keenan. 11 steals remaining the all-time benchmark for defensive fever. All right. When you we can, we can probably break the record. Finds Great feel for the game. Pass to Craig. Passes it to Dozier. Buries it from Damn Fremont Dozier. Look at that. He's there. popping off, bro. Resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You gotta be tougher defensively. Martin, the pass to Martin. It's fucking Martin dudes, bro. Down low. The pass to Batum. Malone outside. Shot clock at five. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Zeller inside. Batum wide open. He fights. 
Tries it again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the That's free throw good. line. Well, you look at Zeller's pedigree. Indiana born and bred. He was Mr. Basketball in high school. Won three state championships and then start for a couple of years for indiana university i mean that's right out of central casting for a hooper bowl he's checked in for von lay and, and as we head to the final buzzer here a crushing blowout big time dominance and and this will go in the record books as a galley win for the nuggets and this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. In, in I want to get. I want to break the steel out there. Just blew them right out. <laughs> Give it to of me. The water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. And in the season series, they'll end up taking the upper hand with this first victory. We gotta be patient the with this team, man. One we can. Record against the Hornets. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Junior. Well, his defense was tremendous tonight. Really, really high level. He was a pest, forced the opponents into a lot of turnovers. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for Charlotte. And it's Martin missing. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Good, that's another bucket. 71 points and no end in sight. <laughs> oh, damn, there you go. And a timeout. <laughs> a new game yeah, another record broken. And my yes, first game as a Nugget, too. Oh, they call a timeout just because. see that record broken. And the stop and play, guys, giving the home crowd a chance to just cheer on his incredible play. And Greg, he's earned it. You don't get all those steals without expending a huge amount of energy. It is hard to say if I've ever seen a better defensive performance than the one he's had tonight. So many takeaways from him. That's awesome. 12 steals. There's 10 Just seconds because. left in the game. <laughs> Gozier passes to Junior. Some solid defense here from Malone. Good stuff. So it's the Breaking the record against my old team in my first game? <laughs> That's pretty neat, man. Man, Charlotte is going down now in the standings. I don't feel bad. Y'all suck. Denver's the way to go. Alright, our next game will be against the Golden State Warriors. So tune into that one, guys. Thanks.